Welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. Today we're going to be continuing our bullet journal self-care challenge with week number three. So let's get to it. I'm starting off first by doing a weekly spread. I'm still pretty new at these, so bear with me. I'm only doing three days on this weekly spread though because I'm trying to separate Saturdays and Sundays. So I want Saturday to be the end of the week. That's why there's only three days for this week's weekly spread. Now I'm going in and writing in the days of the week and I'm using like this stick type font. I just make one part of the letter a rectangle and then the rest of the letter is just a single stroke. Now I'm coloring in the rectangle part that I had on for each letter. And I've been adding weather logs to my days of the week for my weekly spreads and I really like this because I'm constantly asking what the weather's going to be like for the day just so I can figure out what to wear. Then I add a little notes section on the bottom and I wanted to do something a little different so I had this mason jar stamp and I decided to incorporate that in my journal. And I don't know what made me decide to draw lightning bugs, but that's, I, for some reason lightning bugs popped in my head and I googled a picture of it and I was like, oh, that's a little simple doodle I can do. So I decided to put lightning bugs inside my jar. It might have been the yellow. I think I was thinking of the color yellow and yellow and green kind of go well together. I don't really know, but lightning bugs in jars are adorable, so. I'm using a gray Crayola Super Tip to color in the wings. Then I'm using a Prismacolor Premier Fine Liner in .005 to add the details of the wings. Then I take the .8 Prismacolor Premier Fine Liner to go around the outside of the jar, and for the rim edge of the jar I use a Copic Multiliner in a .3. I go back through and add drop shadows to the outside of the jar, the notes column, and the bottom of the days of the week. Then I'm taking a light gray and a dark gray Crayola Super Tip to color in the top part of the mason jar. And then I'm taking my .8 and .005 fine liners and adding details to the inside of the jar. We're now moving on to week three of our self-care challenge. Week three's subject is psychological care. This is caring for your mind or your brain. Not many people know this, but your brain can actually get sick. Mental illness is a sickness in the brain. Depression is a sickness in the brain. Stress can cause illness in the brain. So for this week, we're gonna break down our activities into two parts. We have relaxation and we have creativity. So make a list of things that help you relax and things that help you be creative. The things that I have on my list for relaxation is yoga, meditation, and baths. The things on my list for creativity are journaling and coloring. Now I'm making a T-chart of things that I can say no to in my brain and then things that I can say yes to. You have control over your thoughts and feelings, so the things that you're saying no to are thoughts and feelings that you want to change, and the things that you're saying yes to are the things that you can do to change those thoughts and feelings. I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape for decoration, and then I'm going to be taping in this picture that I found on Pinterest. Um, it says, Be Kind, and I thought this was really fitting for this week's challenge because we need to be kind to ourselves. We may have been holding on to these thoughts and feelings for a while and it's hard to let go of something that you've clung to for so long. So be kind to yourself when you're trying to better yourself. Well, that about wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's self-care challenge. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you did any recreations of this, tag me on Instagram at midnight period underscore period mind. I'll be sure to check those out if you did. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos twice a week. Be sure to look out for week four. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!